All right, we're going to continue on with video four. So it's now <clears throat> the aliens' turn. So they're going to get their alien troops card. It shows that uh, sector one is going to be attacking, so that's going to be it for this turn. So that's really good. Yeah, but the only problem is we have some shields that are down, some scavengers that are through. So these guys are going to move up to here. And we're going to start <clears throat> having them attack the shields. So we have two archers. We're going to attack. No, so they got one of them. At least one of them did. So first shield's down. Now the other archer is going to take out this shield. So that's not going to be good. So the champion's going to go ahead and move one space, one sector, zone, whatever. The slash is going to do the same thing. And so will the scavenger come down here. This is available for it to take. So it'll go ahead and take the debris. Which sucks. And I'm not supposed to look at that, but oh well. Well, the scavenger will be gone. It's rather unfortunate because I needed to get there. Alright, so now we need two more. Aliens and I've got a gestation, got a ship, got another gestation. There's a scout. Ooh, the shields are down, so he's automatically going to move over here. And then I've got another scout who's also going to go there. Alright, so Sector 2 doesn't attack, but they have one drawn, and it's going to be a scout. But it'll stay here, since the shields are up over in that area. And then Sector 3 gets two. So they get a champion. Oh, that's not good. Get a champion, and... Yeah, we're going to get another gestation, or two. Yep, looks like two. And then they get a champion, another champion. And Sector 4 gets one, they get a tunneler. Sector 4 is apparently the happening place. Three, two, one. There's a lot going on over there. That's not going to be good. Okay, so that was the alien actions. So now we have the planet phase. We have to resolve all of our events. So I have one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Five times it's going to be moving. So one, two, Three, four, five. So I had one gestation happen, so I'll grab, grab my card. And then I had two, two of the ships going. So with my convert energy, it makes it to where it's going to move uh, one more space. So it'll move three. So one, two, three. So we're nine spaces away. But I don't think we're going to be rescued. So now these will go back in the bag because we had a gestation. These will go back in the bag. This is done, so it will be discarded. But everybody's going to draw another card. So I have combat orders for Corporal Diesel, which I'll show you what it is. 
cards kind of look like. So that's what he gets. Jake gets Captain's Orders. Discard to give one of your action dice to another crewman. I have a couple of those. I have one more of those. And then Ivan was going to get techn technical manuals. And then Jalen will get Clear Path, which I ha have once this one before. And this is gonna, I'm gonna actually probably use one of these this turn so I can push some of these aliens back that are some of the Zothrans back there in zone one. Yeah, because we have a lot of them. And you get some shields up too. Alright, so they've gotten their cards for the gestation. And then we have the bug leader appears. So I have a leader token to sector one. Leaders may not be attacked and modify the re attack result of each alien in their sector by one. I hate these just because it's hard to keep track of what they do and remember that that's always going on. So, I'm going to put that right there. And... I don't have a leader token right now and I don't want to grab one so I'm just going to put this over here to I don't remember, actually the card will probably help me remember, so I don't need to do that. Okay, so we did our gestation. So now we're back to our event phase, so grabbing our event card. And we have a brief rest. Advance the alien gestation token one space, and the rescue ship one space, and then reshuffle the event deck. Each crewman may heal two wounds if they discard one skill card, and I might actually do that. The only thing I need to worry about is you can't heal above uh, wherever your arrows are, and some of these guys are very close to the arrows, so I think I might actually do that. So, gestation, so we're getting ready to hit a gestation. And then the rescue ship moves forward one, so it goes to eight. So let's see, I'm going to discard one of their cards first before I deal with the gestation. So I think you're rid of Hero Block. Uh, actually, you know what, he's almost already healed. So I don't think I'm going to have Corporal Diesel heal. I'll get rid of one of the captain's orders for Jake to take him back up. But he's only going to be able to move up one. He can only move up to uh, to eight since there's an arrow right there. He can't heal all the way. All right, and then Ivan. Get rid of energy expert. Allow him to go back up to seven. And then, um, this is probably going to be bad. I'll get rid of a card for her. Take her back up to seven health. Alright, so now we'll do the gestation. But because we're having the gestation, they'll get another card. So Jake is going to get a hate bug to discard to ignore all aliens drawn this turn by any crewman including you. Let's we'll still play vent tokens. So that could be very helpful this turn. That was a good one. And Diesel will get die bugs die. And salvage foreman for Ivan. That's a good one too. And then Jalen gets dodge. So she's got two dodges, so she might need to go out there and fight a little bit. Plus she can um, start moving them back, so. 
All right, so the other gestation card. Bug leader, another bug leader. Add a leader so token to sector two. Oh man, then I get another root event token. So now sector two has one. And another one of these is added. So yeah, I've got eight turns to be rescued from the ship. I don't think we have enough sheet metal out there since a bunch of them has been taken away. Alright, anyway, it's going to be Ivan's turn. So, oh man, an alien token. That sucks. So two combats, which I'm definitely going to keep. I have an energy, an alien, and the goggles. So put the other alien out. So it'll be a scavenger. So I think there's nothing left over here in sector one, so I'm going to put him over there. And then I'm going to re-roll this one. And now this one will be locked in. Oh man, it's another alien. That sucks. Yeah. So another gestation. Another gestation times two. So now I get a tunneler. Man, where do I want to put the tunneler? Probably over here. So the, the one tunneler that was here actually is going to attack one of those. Forgot that he like immediately attacks. So he gets two dice. And I'll have him attack Jake. So he's able to defend it. So I'm going to re-roll these two, I think. Ah, man, another alien in a wild. So scavenger. I guess I'll put it over here. Let's see here. What are we gonna take? We need to get some combat action, so Okay, and Jake can use those alien ones as combat. So Ivan Ivan's gonna take one of the combat ones. Jake will take one of the aliens. And how is Diesel's blasters almost out of ammunition? Hmm. So I'm not sure. I'll give him a wild. And maybe I should pass and just let him. Where is he? He's out there. Yeah, I'll give him a wild, I guess. And on to Jalen. So she's in the ship. I'll give her a combat. And then Ivan will have to pass to give this other one to Jake. Since he can use those to fight. So let's see here. One, two, three, four. 
All right, so Ivan's going to attack, I guess. I'm going to use his blaster. Get to roll two dice. Man, but he can only... You know what, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to use his blaster. Because with the champions, the champions, uh, they can't be targeted for a ranged attack if other aliens are in the same um, sector and zone, which we have all these uh, slashers and these tunnelers over there. But they roll three dice. So it might be better, man, but they roll three. Three dice for defense though, so that kind of is not good. But I might, I might just have him attack. Um, I think I'll have him attack the tunneler, quite honestly. Alright, so he gets one dice for that. And rolled a four, so he missed everything. Alright, but he's going to move four. One, two, three, four to go out over here. And then he'll use his sonic driver to flip over, uh, to pick up the breeze without um, having to discard an, uh, an action die. So he'll flip one of these and it's Fido. So he's definitely going to take that. So that'll be his turn. So now we'll go to Jake. So Jake is going to fight these champions. And then that would have moved over here. Wait a minute, he would have been minus one to movement then. One, two, three. So I actually can't get there because I broke from that melee combat. So I'm actually going to have to put him there. Hmm. Man, that sucks. Especially since I already saw that because the minus one, maybe I don't want him there. So if I just moved one here, I wouldn't be able to do anything. Nah, I might as well leave him over there. Especially since there's some protection right there. He's in a red hex, so he'll have some protection. Yeah. All right. Hmm. So he'll use one of his combats to use uh, his laser sword, which actually makes it run out of energy. So he's going to need some energy for that. And then he'll attack. He'll attack one of the champions, I guess. See if we're feeling lucky today. Uh, that's a tie. So we beat that. So, he only has one attack though. Against the defense. So, I'm not sure if that's two wounds or not. I can't remember. So, melee combat. So, the crew rolls the blue dice. And then all attacker dice, which would be the one blue, compared against the single highest defense dice. Okay, so single highest defense dice. So he doesn't get anything off of that. So he missed as well. Everybody's missing. Who's he with? He's with nobody right now. Man, I don't know if I want her to leave the ship, though. Because I don't know who's going to come in.
Hmm. Yeah, this is not going to be good. Everybody's out running out of ammo. Tunnel's coming in. So she's going to attack these slashers over here. I think she's going to go after one of them. She's going to spend one energy. I'll give her one die. Let's see here. And so that's the next sector. Oh man, so she's got a roll greater than a five. Which she doesn't. So she misses. Which of course she was going to miss. We have not been having very much success. So she misses. So now it's back to Ivan. Now Ivan's kind of passing. And then... I should have used my electrified equipment. All right. And there's uh, Corporal Diesel's turn. I think we skipped him. So, man, for him, I think I'm just going to have to charge, but I can only charge one. Two inches wild to a charge. So he still only has like two shots left in his gun. His gun's not all that great. It's only a 455, so it actually sucks. And the fact that he, for every um, reload you do, it's only one bullet per reload for weapons. While items you can fully charge. So it kind of sucks trying to get those reloads and run out of ammo kind of quick. <sighs> so man, I don't know what to do. I need to try to get up there and get some of that stuff, but I just can't. They're just overwhelming us. Kind of need to stay here and try to fight. He doesn't really have much of anything to help out. Okay. Well. He will go ahead and roll his one dice for melee. But I think actually, because the blaster and the laser sword are both one hands, I think I might get two dice for melee combat with the laser sword and the blaster. I think I've been playing that wrong this time, this whole time. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna play it that way. So let's see here. He gets two dice, and we'll go after one of the champions again. No, that sucks. Lower than a four. No, couldn't get lower than a four. So, he didn't do anything to him either time. Alright, so that's the end of their turn. And so, we'll stop again as we move into the alien turn. And it looks like I've only got like a turn or so left. So, this isn't going to last much longer before I end up uh, losing.